Okay, uh, just packing up now. Um, so I spent uh, I spent basically a half day at this campsite. It's like two in the afternoon, I think, like one thirty, two o'clock, something like that. Um, just basically took a zero day. Um, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm just packing up. I'm gonna be out of here in about 15, 20 minutes. Um, and then, yeah, just planning to walk three or four hours. And that's about it today. Like I say, got that, that big hill to start up with. And then, um, yeah, once I get up, basically once I get up to the top of that, um, I'm just gonna, if I see someone nice to pitch up, I'm just gonna pitch up straight away, basically. So I might only do, I don't know, like four miles today, five miles, something like that. We'll see how it goes when, uh, yeah, you know, it's the halfway point and I'm just kind of wanted a, wanted a bit of breather. Um, right, let's get the rest of that away. Right. I think the walk, the, the next, no, as far as I'm going to go today, the next couple of hours is probably about it. Um, it's, I think, yeah, I thought that uphill was bad, but like that, there's some hellish steep um, descents and ascents. This bit's not too bad here, but I think over that over that ridge line there, uh, it goes right the way down and then right the way back up again, which is going to be brutal. But looking on the good side, looking on the bright side, uh, uh, I should get to the night on top of the uh, on, on top of the ridge again, which would be nice. And it's meant to be kind of clear and dry tonight, even if it might be a bit blustery. Um, I think tomorrow's going to be another wet one. God, I'm always talking about the weather, aren't I? Oh boy. Oh. Yeah, I see the, the Andrew's River there. It's kind of cool. Ah, uh, yeah. Ah, oh, I managed to see the bottom. That thing there is. Looks like a. get a bit closer. So you can tell the wind gets up here. Uh, the tree's blown over at an angle like that. Blown at an angle like that. Uh, and I think this is a section of the dike again here. They're walking along. So there's bits of the path that run along the, the uh, that run along the dike itself. And bits of it that Either the, the, the dike goes one way and the path goes another, uh, and then there's large sections of it where the, there's no trace of the of, of dike left at all, obviously. Uh, uh, actually, in that bit of section, kind of a flat bit maybe there, wouldn't actually be a bad place to, to pitch, but I want to. Knowing that I've got this big valley to, to go down and then oh, so back up. I don't want to. I don't have to face that in the morning. First thing, so I'm not going to stop yet. I'm going to keep going. So it's, it's early yet, anyway. I just feel really tired today, I don't know. I, I thought I slept well last night, but... <clears throat> I guess not. I was kind of tired all morning. That's why, I, part of the reason why I stayed as long in the campsite as I did, I was planning to get up and get going uh, about 11, like 10 or 11. Uh, but I say it was, it was one, gone one o'clock anyway, like 1.15, 1.30, something like that. Um, I really wanted to just get put my head down, go into percent, put my head down and get a few, a bit of extra sleep. But I was just worried that if I did so, if, if I did that, I'd, um, I wouldn't wake up till like middle, after, the middle of the afternoon and I'd, then I'd basically have to stay there. And it, it, you know, there's no point setting off at four or five o'clock to just basically have to walk up that hill and then struggle to find somewhere at the top of that hill. That would have just been uh, nightmarish. So, uh, 
yeah, I think I could do with hopefully get a really good night's sleep tonight. And, uh, um, back and uh, get back into doing some long days tomorrow. Um, I think the target is still to finish in 12 days, and this is day seven. So, and this is going to be a short day. So this is, yeah, this is day seven. So kind of behind schedule at the moment. But that said, there's no, uh, I've nothing to aim for. If it, <coughs> if it takes 13 or 14 days to do it, that's no problem. That's a few from here. Let's see what it's like from the top. This is a bit where we go down into the valley and then back up the other side. Oh, there's some first guardians in the way. There we go. That's not a bad little garden shed. Look at the view they've got. Yeah, right, you've got to put it with a few sheep's arses, but you know, still. Right, this will be the bottom of that valley, so it's all uphill from here. Whew. Okay. Right, the cloud's coming in now. The temperature's really dropping, which honestly, uh, no bad thing. Yeah. Uh, a bit of byway to walk on here. Uh, the dike's just there to the right, just behind this fence in that field. I got about an hour 20 minutes of light left, I think, an hour and a half maybe. Um, it's an hour till sunset. Yeah, 20 minutes. Look at that. Town's pretty impressive over there. Maybe get a bit of a nice sunset tonight, I'm not sure. Uh, but I think, like, I just hop over the fence there and put a pitch anywhere there, so I'm just going to see how far I can get at this point. Um, maybe when it gets to sunset, I'll just hop over the fence and in that field. Oh, so half past six, we've got about 15 minutes of sunset, probably 30 or 40 minutes light in total. And I'm kind of thinking I should have stopped up at the top of the hill there and just gone back into one of those fields. It was the wrong side of the hill. I thought it was like the wrong side of the hill to get sunrise in the morning. Maybe I'll carry on a bit further and then no, it's kind of, I'm kind of down in the valley now. So even when I find somewhere that's flat to camp on, which is looking a bit tricky at the moment. <laughs> uh, but it's, yeah, I'm not walking all the way back up there. It's like a, it's the best part of a mile now. Oh well, live and learn. There's the view down in the valley. Uh, look at that, halfway. I think there's a flat bit just to the side of this gate. God, that was hard work coming up that hill. Coming down from uh, those trees with the notch in there, down there. 
through the valley and then back up this hill. Oh, but I made it halfway. Oh, officially. Right. That's my pitch for the night. There's that gate just there. And the halfway point, just the side of it. Path goes on up there, so not ideal. Not sure how much of the valley you can see in this light. Oh. Oh. My reward for the day is a bottle of Henry Weston's Vintage Cider. And then some food, and then some sleep. Oh, <laughs> so a bunch of those cows came over to investigate the tent uh, just after I sat down to uh, drink my, um, did I say that on camera? My, uh, my my bottle of cider. All I could really tell was like a couple of silhouettes and, and their eyes shining in the dark. So I don't know. Um, but I just had a look out on that outside now and they seem to have kind of wandered off and lost interest again. So I don't know. Oh. Oh, more tent talk. Uh, uh, so the the <laughs> the lesson that I should have learned today that I have to learn again and again and again and again and again is is when you find somewhere that looks like it's going to be a good place to pitch up and it's within an hour or two of it's like even two hours of of losing the light just just stop and take it. I'm pretty good at doing that in summer when it's like longer days, but. Like this time of year when the nights are drawing in, it's it's easy to think kind of like, well, I've got another hour yet, I'll get a bit further and I'll find something. And and I did, but the the place on the hill, the other side of the valley, was so much nicer. It was like a nicer pitch, it was flatter, it was big open field, there was no cows in it, there was no shit in it. Um, and the only the only knock against it slightly is it was just slightly on the wrong side of the hill to get like a really good sunrise in the morning. But I mean, you know, big wows, I would have got a good sunset tonight and the sunrise would have been okay tomorrow. And in the end, I ended up walking another hour having a pitch that's not quite level. But yeah, <laughs> I think I'm going to have to keep relearning that lesson probably about once a week until I, I give up on this whole wild camping thing. <laughs> I set my alarm for 6.30 tomorrow so I can get up. So what I might try and do tomorrow is if I can motiv motivate myself to get moving, get up and then head up a little bit further along the trail and, and maybe catch the sunrise. And then I'm just going to basically start looking for somewhere to sit down and make coffee and breakfast. And I just have a big ass breakfast tomorrow to make up for not having any food tonight. Right. Good night.